Yeah, and, and find out what's God doing. And uh, that's some of the things that we want to talk about tonight. Uh, you know, what is 2021 about? And uh, we're going to bring some in, input into that. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's not, it's not just, you know, what's God doing in 2021, but sometimes we need to rephrase that question and come up from the different angle. You know, what are we doing for God? In 2021 yeah that's awesome you know do we have a plan or has god has a plan but yeah. do we have a plan to work with what he has and do we have something to propel us forward that god can direct us with what is that level of confidence or boldness that god wants you to step up in for what he's asking of you to to embrace and to lay hold of in 2021 and uh, and find yourself in a different position a different even yeah. a different level of confidence and boldness. Right. Yeah. Know that I know that God is causing us to step into boldness like ever before. Step into mm. confidence. And so tonight we want to just bring a bit of a corporate word for you, uh, for, for believers. But also we want to talk about, as we mentioned, the different uh, schools and uh, things we've got planned for 2021 that you can get involved with. And also what we love to do in this environment is to prophesy over a few people as well. So yeah, so if you'd like a prophecy or if you're, you're wanting to connect in the other way, just please give us comments and, and say hi. That, uh, just to interrupt you there That's a second, good. that was one of the things that come out of those short courses that we mm. did, that people were excited to be activated in spiritual gifts. Yes. You know, we do teach a lot on prophecy and how to hear God more confidently, but we also, you know, we, we in activating spiritual gifts, you know, people have that opportunity to get a word of knowledge for somebody and to pray for someone for healing and to activate those gifts and, and that's exciting you know when someone hears from God is able to lay hands on their screen and see someone from the other side of the world be healed yeah, that's awesome. and, and, and know that hey God has used me and I'm excited about that mm. and, and yeah. I think you know there's I believe that this year will be a year of more supernatural signs and wonders yes but we've got to play our part in that yeah that's good that's very good yeah. and and, and allow that faith allow the boldness to take place mm. and, and at the moment of course with uh with the january 2021 with the the in january there's always lots of prophecies are uh, coming out uh, all around the body of christ and i think probably even more so it's ramped up probably a hundred times more than ever because yeah. of the different circumstances and dynamics that we're that we find ourselves in and and so we uh, what, what we felt tonight was to we, i just felt to bring a word of edification actually to, to encourage you and to empower you in this time. What is what is your role in this season? What is your what, where has God got you? And what's he what's he even encouraging you and and inspiring you to step up? Because I believe that as believers, we're living in a season where it's necessary for us to even step up in faith so to speak, and allow yeah. those steps of boldness to take place. And I'm reminded of scripture, I think it's, um, it's 2 Corinthians 9, 8, where, where it talks about that God's grace abounds. God's grace abounds to us. And we want to be aware of the grace of God. And, and actually, when I think of that, I feel like that there's a there's a there's a, a, a almost like a, a declaration or I just see it as a sign that we, that when we walk in the grace of God that there is no toil I feel like God's saying no more toil find yourself in the place of grace find yourself in the place of being empowered by God and I believe it's a very necessary shift for some people because sometimes we we serve God and we want to do that we want to do we want to love God and, and do everything for God and sometimes without realizing it we're doing it in a striving sense so mm -hmm. I feel like God's saying no more toil allow that grace and, and become aware of the grace the empowerment and the enabling of God and that scripture speaks of that God's grace abounds to us and causes us to have all sufficiency in all things and that we're abounding for every work that we're there an abundance for every single work and it, 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 to me it describes a different way of doing things it describes that almost like a slipstream that God wants us to be in and and it, it's it's in some ways it's a place of ease it's a place of of allowing the grace of God and even trusting that God is more than able to to do this God is more than able and he wants to cause us to flow in that slipstream and and be aware of the um of the lack of toil is that a, is yeah. that a right english 
Look, it, 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 and what you're saying is exactly right, and, and it's it's about the love of God. If we understand how much God loves us, and that He's He's He wants to pour out His love on us, then that becomes more relevant to us because we understand that God loves me, and He's actually going out of His way to bless me mm-hmm. because no, for no other reason that He loves us, and He just wants to pour out His love to us. So He's going to give us grace. He's going to abound and, and open up opportunities for us. But we've got to do our part and expect those things. We've got to step out in faith. And, and you know, whatever we do should be done in love. And, and so, you know, sometimes we... It's an area I'm working on. We're all working We're on all, it's We're all working on that. And, and, but times, you know, sometimes fear comes in and think, oh, I couldn't do that. Oh, I can't believe that. What if it's not right? Well, you know, perfect love, God's love, will cast out fear. And so that gives us that confidence to believe for things. And, and to step out and, and um, you know, it, it's easy to know what God's going to do this year because his word tells us he wants to heal the sick. He wants to bless you. He, he wants you to develop in character. He wants to, whatever the Bible says, that's what he's going to do because yeah, he does the same thing every year. Sometimes there's more of an emphasis on certain things. But a lot of that is our understanding. Mm, yeah. And that's why I said before, what are we doing for God or how are we working with God in 2021? Mm, I love how you said, you know, we're all we're all work in progress, yeah? If we ever feel that we've arrived, I think that's when we missed it, in a sense, because we God is causing growth and increase, and it, and it con- continues to compound as, as God's also causing us to, to come into a place of maturity like we've never known before. And, and so be aware of the grace of God that's calling you up and mm. calling you forth and causing you you to uh, to to come into a place of maturity at times when we talk about maturity we feel like it's a little bit uh, it can be a stretch process in a sense it can feel like it's uncomfortable guess what faith is uncomfortable don't you love that don't you love faith we always say that in our classroom yeah, environment yeah. who loves faith and uh, we all put our hands up but in actual fact I love faith. We, uh, we, we love faith we love the outcome of faith yes, yes we love and hate faith in a sense because it's a, a it's a stretch yeah. and a process that ta- takes place yeah. does yeah. that resonate with you today please let us know and and, uh, and let us know where you're from and 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 uh, yeah and, and so maybe yeah. you've got an example where you've stepped out in faith and and you've seen a great result you might want to just mention that and, and so we encourage you to uh you know just what is God doing for you this year? What have you got planned to do with God this year? You know, God says in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plans I have for you, which is great. God's got plans for us, but we need to work with those. But what are our plans to work with God on those things? And I think that's important that we take time uh, to work out, okay, where do I want to go? What, Where is God calling me into? And what do I have to do about it? Mm. You know, we, we, we know the story of Moses. Um, he worked with God. God did a lot of things through Moses, and he said, I'll do this, and I'll do that, and I'll do this. But he worked with God, and we're the same. We've got to work with God on, on what he's calling us to do. Mm. Or what we're, we, we, we might not, some people may not know what they're called to do, but you might have a desire in a certain area. Let's start there, and God will unfold things along the way for you. Mm. So God's got plans. Let's find out what they are. If we're not sure, let's head in a direction and God will direct us. Mm, yeah. And another way to ask that is, is what God, what are you growing me in? What do you want me to build in my life? What what of you? What part of you? Because the ways of God, Isaiah 55 talks about the ways of God are higher than our ways. God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts, but but they're not meant to be a secret. But sometimes we think, oh well, you know, God's ways are different, God's ways are higher, God's thoughts are higher, and it's almost like a, a sense of, you know, we could, there's no way we can understand them. But actually the nature of God is not like that. The nature of God wants us to know the ways, know his ways, and his ways are sure, his ways are right, his ways causes the the blessing and the increase and the strength and the grace especially, and when I say grace, I mean that sense of ease in a sense that we function under God's empowerment, under God's anointing and not under our own strength and our own toiling, so to speak, and and so be aware that God is building in you. Can you answer that question even now? What is God building in you at this time? What is God asking you? 2021, what is God causing you to level up in? What is that impossible thing? Because it's, you know, Hebrews 11.6, it's impossible.
possible to please God with our faith. So what is this next level of faith, this next level of strength and maturity that God has for you? And we know that the enemy comes to rob, kill and destroy. So when that doubt comes, when that fear comes, then there's this place of, of being aware that, hey, that's, that's not from God's voice. That's not the ways of God and that's not the thoughts of God. And so know that, that there's that. Uh, that where the enemy comes to rob, kill and destroy, that God has a higher way for you and, and uh, where to understand the nature of God. And I believe in this year it's more it's been important more than yeah. ever before. Well, that was one of the things that was part of what we did last year was, you now last year our theme was immerse, immerse ourselves in who God is. You know, that is a very big subject. Mm. Uh, but if we can get a, a, a handle on who God really is, and, and what he says, and identify ourselves with what God says of who we are. Who are we? You know, we need to identify with what God says about who we are. And that's what we talked a bit about last year. And, and then we want to be able to increase the, 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 the presence and power of God within us uh, that we can be more effective in whatever that is. It could be your business. It could be your ministry. It could be your just your personal life. It could be your family. Whatever it is. That if we do those things, immerse ourselves in understanding who God is, just like we talked about love. God is love. So if we could just immerse ourselves in that one thing, if that's all you concentrated on for 12 months, you'd be a different person. And, and identify with who God says we are. Mm. Well, who are we? Oh, I mean, nothing goes right for me. Well, that's not what the Bible says. It actually says different. Mm. And so it's understanding what it says. Oh, I never get healed. No one prays for me. And, you know, well, they do and nothing happens. Well, we need to identify with what God says and make that part of our life. Mm, yeah. And so, you know, I think that was key last year. And it, it's a great way just to uh, work with those things and, uh, and, and go forward there. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's great. And as believers, as believers, are you a believer? Are you someone that's, that's causing a, a, a level of faith and a level of belief that God's uh, increasing and uh, compounding? I love that word compounding. It's not just a you know, times two uh, idea, but it's actually a, a level upon level and, and line upon line. It's a building and building and, and continually compounds. Yeah. Is yeah. God, what is God compounding for you at this time? And, uh, and actually back in, I think it was in October, November, I felt God starting to... Uh, just to share some things with me for 2021. And, and I felt him say that, that, uh, that there were four words actually that were going over my um, heart and, and, uh, and, and coming up everywhere in October, November. And I, I think actually I shared it in November with our, our team, uh, team mm -hmm. group and a meeting. And, uh, and it was, um, there were four words. And what, the first word was recompense. The second word was overflow. The third word was accelerate. And the fourth word was reward. And so I wrote down those words, and guess what? It spelt, tell me, it spelt raw, recompense, overflow, accelerate, and reward. And uh, the word raw, fantastic. Some people yeah, have typed yeah. that in already. Yeah, recompense, yeah. overflow, accelerate, and reward. And I just really feel that, that there's right, a raw yeah. coming. There's a yeah. raw of God coming within you as a believer of God. There's a there's a raw coming from heaven for you. And, and I want you to be aware of that, that recompense. It talks about, I think it's in Jeremiah uh, 50, uh, where it talks about that God is the God of recompense. He will repay. And it's almost like a deliberate action from God that he wants yeah. to cause his recompense. Yeah. He wants to cause his He's he's, uh, he's looking after us, and 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 it suggests that where there's been where the enemy has robbed, where the enemy where things have been stolen from yeah. you, that God is saying, "I am your God, yeah. I am your justice, and I'm going to bring forth my justice in your life and cause a recompense." And uh, and yeah. so so understanding that mm, word, I think is yeah, important that's right. because recompense is is to I looked up the dictionary. It says to repay, to pay or give compensation or make restitution, and then it says to make compensation for something. So it, it, to make compensation, that means it's a declared thing. It has to take place. So this has been a judgment here. This is what's done, and this is to make compensation for it. So whatever it is, could be something that's been stolen. It could be some, uh, you know, the enemy might have robbed you mm. in some form. 
Um, well, he has. I, I know that for sure. But it, it, we need to recognise what that is and say, okay, you've been caught here, buddy. You need to now compensate me. Yeah. Not just for what you've taken, but over and above. And who knows when God recompenses? It's never, never just enough. God is not a just enough God, yeah. And yeah. so, what? So, what I want you to ask is, is uh, the the recompense that's taking place is uh, that is uh, what? What is uh, even again? What is God building in you? If you know that yeah. God is, has even promised recompense to you and you haven't seen it yet, well, I just feel like you need to ask God, well, what do you want to build in me? What What is that belief? That, that, I, that I have to have to walk in the yeah. recompense. And maybe actually what is the uh, belief I have to face or uh, address? Yeah, or, well, uh, Romans 12, yeah. 2 talks about mm. renewing our mind. And sometimes yes. it's, the, the enemy plays with our mind a lot. And, and so, you know, we've got to renew our mind to that place where we believe that recompense is going to come and we stand on the promises of God. And that's what we talked about last year. You know, we immerse ourselves in understanding who God is. Mm. And he is a God of recompense. And so we've got to get that into our mind so that it's a done deal. Yeah, yeah. And so the other word, recompense, overflow. And there's so many scriptures and we want to unpack this, this uh, you know, what God's saying for this year, even more so in the future. But God is bringing his overflow into his believers' lives. And, and, and there's an overflow and a place of grace abounding. Uh, mm. That we that that is like uh, causing an equipping and a strength and a capacity like we've never known yeah. before. Overflow. And, and, and part of the key to some of these things, I believe, is identifying areas where these things are not happening. So you know, we know what overflow is. It's a it's a spilling over. Um, but where is there lack in your life that you need some form of overflow? So if we can identify that, then we can recognise and believe for. Uh, it, it's easier to believe for something because now we've got something a target if you like mm. this is a target there's something missing here and it shouldn't be missing it should be overflowing so now we're going to hone in on that thing what does the word say this is what it says okay that i'm going to renew my mind in that area and i expect this to take place so it's a it's a, a way of building our faith for specific things mm. because for me anyway i find if i've got something specific to aim for it's easier and i think most people are the same we, if we say, oh, yeah, I want to just have more faith, well, that's great, but for what? You've got to have be specific about what you want that faith for. And so that, then we know, how do I renew my mind in this area? This is the one thing that needs attention, so I'm just going to focus on that one thing. Mm, yeah, it's good. And, yeah, the other two words were accelerate and reward. And I'm going to unpack that in other, other live events and, and prophetic mentoring groups over this year. But I just feel like the accelerate word is very important for even the, the, uh, the times that we find ourselves in because the acceleration of God's reward, the acceleration of God's grace and favour, it's like we're meant to be lifted up above seated in heavenly places not yeah. not stuck in this uh, the circumstances not stuck even in the i always see it like when i think of god wants us to be and causes us to be seated in heavenly places yeah. i always see it like almost like this cloud effect and we're seated above the cloud seated next to jesus and seeing it from a completely different perspective we're seeing the ways and the thoughts of god and not stuck under the cloud and at times there's under the cloud is is uh, the circumstances of life yeah. and and this this uh, this thing that we find ourselves in this time that we find ourselves in god's causing and empowering his people to lift up above the circumstances and yeah. find ourselves in a place of grace and power like we've never known before yeah, so i want right. to encourage right. you in this to actually find that acceleration and uh, and see that reward take place yeah and again it's identifying these things and that, just over christmas we were mm. talking about things and and, and we realized there's an area in our life or mine specifically uh where things were not accelerating in fact it was the handbrake was on and, and so because we're able to identify that, then we can take action and get that handbrake off so that we can accelerate. You know, you can't drive too far with a handbrake on. And, and so we want to identify those areas so that we can work on them and, and do what needs to be done to be able to change that. And, and so that's great. You know, there, there's, a, there's, a, there's, there's a lot of people here and, and uh, thank you for your comments. And, and that's great. So we encourage you to identify areas in your life. Maybe you just want to put in one or two words uh, in the comments there and, and just let us know an area that you can focus on to make a difference 
this year. Mm, yeah, what is God even stirring in your heart, even as you listen to what we're saying? And maybe what God's been saying to you over these last couple of weeks, of, I want to empower you to step into what is that? What is that? Yeah. What is that word? I want to empower you, God is saying, to step into, and uh, and it's going to be a place of faith. And, and we just want to say hello to uh, some, some people and thank you for your comments and saying hi. I see Lynn there from, from Tari and, and, uh, and Eva from... Uh, Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. Uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, is that yeah. is that how? Yep, and uh, yes, yeah. 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 Uh, so, um, and Robbie from uh, uh, yeah. Europe. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I Robbie. always get that one wrong. <laughs> yeah. I know it's near Croatia. Yes, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So great to Slovenia. have you tonight, yeah. Slovenia. Slovenia. Tell us if that's right. That <laughs> and uh, so Dorcas here from Wagga, and uh, and there's a few people here yeah. from Sydney as yeah, well, yeah, which is great. From Amy from Brisbane Sydney, as well. great to have you. Oh, there's Brisbane, you there yeah. from Brisbane. Yeah, so great, it's great to, to have you. Yeah. And so yeah, so we just wanted to uh, sort of touch on what we feel God is saying for 2021. You didn't and, and the last one. I didn't. The the this reward. Is the, this is the whole point. The reward. The reward. The reward. You know, we we want recompense. We want overflow, we want acceleration, and with that is the reward. Mm. And so, you know, it, it's identifying those things because it's the reward that we want, but it's also what we become when we get there. Yes. It's who do we become. We become someone who is more confident in the Word of God. We become people with more faith. We become, uh, you know, those people who can go and make a difference. We become those people that have a plan to work with God and to to bring change into our environment yeah that's awesome yes so we will continue on in this message over this year and uh, and uh, and you know continue to um create this environment where we want you to come and be encouraged and and uh, and and find a place of growth we feel we feel more passionate than ever to create environments for growth create environments that you can hear god's voice and be encouraged in them and find a new level of confidence are you ready for a new level of confidence in understanding the ways of god and also yeah. understanding how god communicates to you and, and and are you ready for that growth to take place and and so we're definitely ready to empower yeah, people yeah that's it yeah we, absolutely we, and look, one of the things that really, uh, we probably all know this, but to me, it's, I guess it's a deeper level of understanding, you know, that whatever God does is based on some level of law. And we're not talking about the Old Testament law, although that's not done away with. It, it, it's part of, the, um, part of the new, but there's a new covenant. But, that the, you know, the natural laws, God works with natural laws and he works with spiritual laws, but, but we need to understand how they work. And, and that will change our lives. And, and I believe that's what Moses did. That's why he was so effective. He knew the ways of God or the laws that God operated by. And if he could work with those law, the laws are there, he would get all the rewards for the people. And that's exactly what he did. And, and so he would hear from God. He would be directed by God. But he would work with the ways of God. Yeah, that's good. And, and so sometimes we, you know, we know certain things and we get certain results. Seems to work in this area, but what's why is it not working here? Mm. Because we're not fully understanding, and I'm talking to me here, we're not necessarily fully understanding how that law operates. Yeah, that's great. So, yeah, so we will de definitely unpack this even more so. Yeah. We'll sort of just only touch the iceberg on this. And uh, so we, what we, I just want to pray for you uh, as, a, as a group of people. And then, uh, then we're going to talk a little bit about the different things we've got planned for 21. And then we're going to prophesy over a few people who who would uh, who hasn't had a prophecy for ages and would love a prophecy. And because and we'd love to bring a word of encouragement and, and edification to build you up and empower you. But I just want to pray for you as a, a, a for, just to seal this word that we've mm. spoken over today. Father, thank you. We just lift up our hands. I encourage you where you are, lift yes. up your hands to heaven thank to you. receive. Father, we thank you for the roar. We thank you for the roar that comes from heaven today and actually the roar that you're instilling in people's hearts and lives, a roar that comes out from, mm. from Christ within. Yes. There's the multiple layers, the external and the internal you're wanting to activate and cause to come up to a new power, a, a, a level of power and strength. So, Father, we mm. thank you for the listeners whether it's right now, Lord, or as, as, uh, as we're live or, or those that listen later. Right now, Father, yes. we declare the roar of heaven roar of causing heaven. to uh, an increase in people's lives mm. of presence, 
power and confidence like never before. And Father, we thank you. We seal these words. We seal these words to these people. And we declare activation and, and empowerment to be released to every single person. And those questions that we've asked God, what do you want us to grow in? What do you want us to build in our lives? And Father, the quickening is taking place in people's lives in Jesus' name. Amen.